and welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com. So on this shotgun tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do a split screen effect. So in this case, you're going to need a minimum of two videos. And I have one video on the bottom video track, and then I have another video on the top video track. Now the video on the top video track is going to be the most important one. So you want to make sure that that is selected first. So once you've done that, you'll go ahead and go to filters, go to the plus sign, and then type in crop. And you notice that there's three different types of crops. And the one we want to choose is crop source. So once you do this, you'll notice that there are a number of options. But in this case, the split screen you want is just going to be side by side. So we really only have to adjust the left and right options. So we'll go ahead and adjust the left. So you can see there. And you can also adjust the right. Now, in this case, this is a 1080p video. So half of that is 960. So here, you want to make sure that these two numbers equal 960 if you want it to be exactly perfect. But if not, you could just go ahead and adjust it visually. So in this case, I'm going to adjust it right here. I want this portion. And then this portion on the right, I'll make it a little bit wider. And now we're going to add one more filter so we can reposition this. We're going to add the size, position, and rotate filter. So we'll go ahead and type in size. There it is. So now that you have this selected, you can move this manually. Or you could choose this horizontal fit and make it go to the right. So now that you have it to the right, you could crop it even further. And as I stated earlier, you could have it exact if you want. Or you could just play it. You know eyeball it and have it visually about the same width so there it is and if you wanted to check you could add these two numbers together and if it's 960 that means it's exactly half of 1080. so now that we have that we'll go ahead and adjust the bottom one because we can't see the other video or have it in the portion that we want it to be having the position that we want so we'll go ahead and go to the bottom track and here we'll add another filter and we'll go ahead and add the size position rotate filter and here you can adjust it and I'm just going to do it manually but you could also adjust it by position and put the pixels here as well and there's also other options here for left center and right but they really don't do much here so here I'm just manually adjusting it and there is our very first split screen side by side so that's really easy to do and once you do it a couple times it becomes really easy for you to create these split screens. Set up your business easily and legally with incredibly affordable rakes at Inkfile. Join more than 500,000 businesses and launch your business today. For more information, check out the affiliate link in the description area below. Okay, so now let's go ahead and look at another way which you can do a split screen where we're pretty much gonna be doing the same side-by-side -side split screen effect, but I'm also gonna show you another way to do it that looks different. So we'll go ahead and choose this whole track again and we're going to go to filters the first one we want to add is our size position and rotate filter and in this case you can adjust it by position if you want it to be really exact put in the numbers that you want but in this case i just want to make it easy i'm going to move it manually okay so let's just say about right there so now you have it in your position we're going to add one more filter go to the plus sign and this time you're going to type in mask and there's an option called mask simple shape we'll choose that then you notice that things seems like it disappeared but it's actually right here in the middle so if i go here to these options right here and choose width and height you'll notice that you can control different variables that you couldn't before so here is width and here is height and there's also a thing called softness it makes things blurry on the sides so i don't want that so i want it to be clean i'm going to go down to zero and now it's clean, sharp lines. And we could go ahead and adjust things again. So it's about right there. And you're gonna have to play around with this to find out what works for you. So here is the horizontal, you can move it around. So I'm gonna move it over here to the right. And there is pretty much the same type of split screen effect that we saw earlier, which is side by side. But now with this new filter, there is an additional thing you could do. So there's an option here called rotation. So if you adjust that, you'll notice that it changes the rotation. And basically, you have a new type of split screen. And once you do that, you can adjust things as well. And here, we'll go ahead and adjust the width. And also the vertical and horizontal as well. And if you wanted to, you could make it soft as well, like this. But I like this hard edge. 
Now you look at it, we have a split screen effect, but it looks different. And if you understand how to do it with two videos, you could add more videos and apply the same principles. So that is how you can add a split screen effect, both the side by side one with just basically a vertical side by side, but also one that is more a diagonal one that makes it look more interesting. So if you actually had any thoughts on this or any other ways in which you do the split screen effect, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you did want to see more of my shotgun tutorials and tips, I do have an entire playlist. I'll leave that in the description area below. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. And if you're a creative geek like me, and you want to get exclusive access to more content that I don't put out here publicly on my YouTube channel, then join my Gold Content Creators Group, where you're going to get content like this and more for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Gold Content Creators Group.